Hello South Africa. What is Orlando Pirates' best 11 right now? Let's examine Jose Rivero's numerous tactical and personal options because once he settles on a system and a few core players, we should see Pirates shoot up the table. Their squad is just too good for them to be languishing in mid-table. Even before the signing of Craig Martin, the Buccaneers were blessed with serious depth in midfield. Miguel Tim is undoubtedly the first choice holding player and he's got capable backup in the form of Ben Mortuary. Goodman Mozil is a top prospect at just 23, while Fortune McCarrange offers plenty of versatility and tactical smartness. How does Rivero juggle all of these options? Bear in mind he must also slot in star playmaker Nabe Thethwan Lonlo. The formation must essentially be built around the ex gallant schema and Tim, the conductor of the Pirates Orchestra. The Spanish boss has tinkered with his side consistently, initially optioned for three at the back at the start of the season but he's now settled on something approximating a 4-4-2 that can morph into a 4-2-3-1. The ever-dependable Dion Hotto, nominally a wide man on the left, often fills in wherever he is needed, most notably at left wing back when Rivero deployed a 3-5-2 earlier this campaign. No matter which system is employed, Hotto plays. There are just so many attackers at the club, that he might be tempted to revert to a 3-5-2 in order to accommodate two strikers in his starting 11, and the ever-versatile Dion Hotto at left wing back. Either way, there will be plenty of top quality players spending a lot of time on the bench. None of Zakili Lepesa, Kamet Erasmus or Ndumaso Mabina are quarantined a starting berth. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Luke for the South African.